Uh, good afternoon. It's a, a very warm day today, so uh, I'll spend a little bit of time up here uh, doing all hobby stuff, but not, but not too long. Man. FA Cup day today, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Although uh, watching football at the moment is quite a, a different experience to last year. Uh, I can't can't really get into that much, but I certainly did in today's match. Um, I won't tell you I'm supporting anyway. Um, so the my tutorials, I did three tutorials recently. I uh, wasn't overly pleased with them, I must admit. Um, could can do better and will do better. Uh, what I did, I had the fourth um, session videoed, or I, I taped it or, or filmed it, and I realised I had the camera here. It's all, all to do with basing. So the camera here clicked on, did 20 minutes, and then when I look back, I somehow press the wrong button and I'll film the, um, the book bookshelves behind me. Uh, so I can, I'll, I'll, re I'll return to the, um, the basing tutorial uh, uh, one day. Uh, but I have finished the unit, and this is the unit of Wisconsin troops which are part of the armed brigade I'm doing. I can't remember which number this is, was it the 6th or 7th? Um, and all figures by redoubt. Flags by flags of war which are the, the bee's knees. And um, yeah it's not, it didn't take too long to paint all told. A couple of weeks maybe, two and a half weeks from start to finish. I'm lucky that I do have a bit of time on my hands uh, because I work early shifts. So I've got time before the wifey comes home. So that's Union, I think I've done, is that my ninth? But enjoyed it anyway. I'll certainly get uh, a couple more regiments to finish off the brigade, at least another two. I think you can have five in the Iron Brigade. Um, yeah, that's not too bad, I'm pleased with that. So straight after finishing that, I had the urge to paint up a, another large unit and I've gone for the Westphalian Guard Jaeger by Elite and uh, I've got to the point now where I've blocked in most of the colours I've got to the plumes and then I'll apply the wash and as you can imagine with all this, this lace um, it's taken forever and a day but I've got next week off so hopefully get those done um, Reference material used was the, the one um, one illustration here in the Osprey book. And this is the uh, Colonel in charge. Um, I've left the elite scouts or the elite company scouts until last because uh, it always gives me something to look forward to and the officers. But more importantly, um, this by Stephen Summerfield. Uh, highly recommended, a very good book. Uh, so this sent me down to me by my friend Paul Alba, and it's got a huge section, a large section on the Guard Jaeger. Starting here. Yeah, lovely illustrations going through the period. Uh, slight difference in uniforms. Um, but for reference, it's. Uh, all you want. Nice colour uh, drummers. Yes, the yellows I've gone for a base colour of light brown and then hopefully once the wash is applied I can start adding yellows. Um, I always have the problem with the yellows because obviously the, pa the, the paint's not that pigmented. So. so that's about it. Just one, one more bit of hobby. Um, News, I suppose you call it, is I've got myself a very cheap wet palette. So you've massive. I picked this up for about a tenner, and uh, I'll certainly be getting another one. This is a great idea. I've never thought uh, how good they'd be, especially when you're mixing up your own highlights. Um, 
No, very good. So if anybody can remember a, a quality one, let me know, please. Uh, I heard the is it the Army Painter one is that any good or the, the GWD one? I imagine that'd be expensive. Um, yes, please with that. It came. How small that is? And it came in the box. This size. I came to the one. What's that? What have I ordered? Yeah, huge. But no. Um, Yes, yeah, so I won't be going back to the old pan, I'll be using this now. Uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Right, that's it. Update, and um, once I get a bit more progress with these Westphalians, I'll, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.